Separate topic, uh, Biden today mentioned that his administration had secured millions of doses of the Pfizer COVID-19 pill. Could you give us any detail on how many millions, when the delivery is expected, and how much it'll cost? So, um, I don't, um, so as far as the contract, because that would be a, a contract component, um, so like you said, we're, we're securing millions of doses. Should, the, should, should this receive, right, the regulatory approval, as the President said? Uh, so we have already contracted for millions of doses of the Merck antiviral drug in development as well. And so the contract is being finalized, and I would refer you to uh, HHS for more information as it is available. But what's important here is the, that we encourage unvaccinated people to get vaccinated, so we don't want anyone to get COVID in the first place. So that's the thing that we want to make sure that people understand, is that you, we still want you to get vaccinated. This is, yes, wonderful and a great, uh, has promising potential. It still has to go through the process, but people, it's very important for people to get vaccinated. Thanks, Green. Um, you noted JCT and Moody's. Do you guys have a sense in terms of the uh, Penn Wharton uh, analysis? You know, we've heard some Republicans talk about it. I think Senator Manchin has mentioned an iteration of it in the past, but finding that there would be a shortfall in the 10 year window overall would cost $3.9 trillion. What's kind of your read on that analysis? Yeah, so, so the biggest problem with uh, Penn Wharton's uh, report is that they didn't model the actual bill. And so, for one thing, they incorrectly assume just 1.5 six trillion in offsets when the Build Back Better agenda is fully paid for, with over two trillion dollars in offsets that the president outlined in the Build Back Better framework that he put out last week, as you all know. And as the Joint Committee on Taxation, which is what we've been talking about, uh, and our own numbers, which align with each other, confirm they underestimate. They underestimate. This is Penn Wharton by 290. $2 billion, the combined revenue impact of the corporate minimum tax, stock buybacks, international corporate adjusted gross income surcharge, surcharge for those making more than $10 million. So the net income investment tax and loss limitation compared to JCT scoring. So they also don't include key areas of Build Back Better that will increase economic growth, like the child tax credit, putting more Americans to work, investing in affordable housing, so, for example, just to give an example here, when it comes to the child tax credit, the analysis does not consider the benefits that most 450 economists, including four Nobel Prize, Prize winners, recently highlighted in an open letter.